Tonight on Should We Be Concerned, does Taylor Swift's new cut diss the girl with a golden butt? <laughs> <laughs> the years-long feud between Taylor Swift and Kim Kardashian is growing after Taylor released a new song that called Kim out. The kids call that a diss track, Tyrus. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and Kim reportedly lost more than 100,000 social media followers over it. Taylor's song is named Thank You, Amy with the K, the I, and the M in capital letters, which spells Kim. <laughs> and it's all about a nasty bully fans claim is Kim. Call me old fashioned, but shouldn't these two settle it in the ring with pillows? Cat, <laughs> <laughs> it goes back to Kim's con uh, ex, Kanye West. Uh, she claimed that uh, Taylor knew about a lyric that uh, Kanye wrote in a song about her. Uh, Taylor denied it, and then uh, Kim defended her man. It's kind of exploded after that. What's your take? Oh, man. I... Speaking of things that just keep going on, I mean, but the thing is, if you ever say something bad about Taylor Swift, th the Swifties will make you wish you were never born. <laughs> <laughs> like, people love her so much, and she somehow people still see her as an underdog of sorts, which I don't understand, given the fact that she's a billionaire. But, I mean... I can't not, I'm not a fan of her in general, but I'm not gonna like knock her because like, you know, having, I don't, first of all, I don't want my life, you know, to wish I was never born, but also because like y using material from, you know, failed relationships, that would be very not self-aware of me to slam someone for doing that. But it's weird that Kim has not responded. It's weird that there's been, I guess she thinks it's better to just not do anything. That could be a good point, but you know who's always dissing uh, Taylor Swift behind the scenes? It's comedian Joe DeVito. Oh. <laughs> but... <laughs> <laughs> we get a picture of that bastard up on the screen so the, the, but, they know who to look for. But Tyrus, to Kat's point, it does seem like an unfair fight. Oh, I like know. I have been just, I haven't slept in days. <laughs> I mean, I spent my whole weekend. Now, I'm not watching the great prize fight this weekend or the NBA playoffs. I, what to do, what to do as a black man? Am I going with the Kardashians <laughs> or the Swifts? Because if I go against the Kardashians, I'll end up like every other brother that does and crazy, mm -hmm. lost, or weird. And then if I go against <laughs> the Swifties, I'll never be able to go to a Jimboree again. It's just so... <laughs> oh! You know, I just... I wish to just hug it out, man. Can't we just get along? Yeah, let's, br let's yeah. bring those two back together. Uh, we'll have them on the panel. Mm -hmm. We had to work it out. Charlie... Uh, to me, it seems like Taylor's got the edge. She can write a song about Kim, but all Kim can do is take a picture of her butt. <laughs> <laughs> well, to answer your question, I'm not concerned about this. <laughs> At any level. <laughs> this is really important. But, but I do, I, you do have to give her the Kardashians props. Uh, you know, what are they famous for? Defending OJ and having sex on tape. And they've made a lot of money at it. So, good for them. That's, that's, the sarcasm's just thick right now, ladies and gentlemen. That's, that's why I'll never be that famous. Because uh, <laughs> you, you would never defend O.J. Simpson? That's, that's right. Um, <laughs> Molly, what's your take on this? She would be concerned. Is this going to lead to World War III? Yeah, I just really want to compliment Taylor on the subtlety of the message. You know, the, the capitalization of K-I-M. It's so subtle, you might not pick it up. <laughs> um, and so she, it shows what a great writer she is. I don't, um, I don't like to be personally involved in drama, but I am one of those people who sort of gets excited when other yeah. people are involved in <laughs> drama. So I did read like every story I could on this situation today. Um, I think they're gonna, I think, I think that I trust the Kardashian family to capitalize on this in the right way. They do know how to kind of keep things cold and then just at the right moment come out and like make a big deal about it. It's, it's remarkable how much they've succeeded with absolutely no discernible talent. <laughs> I, but you make a great point. My bullies were not that subtle, you know? <laughs> like I knew I was being bullied. I didn't have to like figure out a code. <laughs> I just wish I could have seen Kris Jenner when this happened, <laughs> screaming into a cell phone, for sure. I, I don't know. I did my best last time. I, you came around <laughs> twice on this. But I'm, <laughs> I, I, I came in here on my day off to support you, and you laid it on me twice. <laughs>
Like, how deep, how deep can we go in this, Maggie? <laughs> like, how far you want to go in this, this fight? We're going to both end up getting death threats over this. You happy now? <laughs> I've upset Tyrus, so we're going to call it a wrap on that. <laughs> hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.